Okay, here we are at the Windows setup screen. We're working on an HP 15. We're just reinstalling Windows. So we're going to hit on Next. We're going to hit Install Now. And we're going to wait for the um, agreement to come up. And then the agreements uh, after the agreement, we're going to see the partitions listed. Two thousand years later. All right, so there's the agreement. Click on I accept license terms. Click next. Now we're going to do custom because we're doing a fresh installation of Windows. Now we're going to choose the largest partition here because that's probably where Windows is. So we're just going to install Windows on the hard drive and leave the data intact. So we're going to hit uh, next. And it's not working. So why is it not working? Well, down here, it says Windows can't be installed on Drive Zero Partition 3, which is the one we're trying to install it on. Show details. So then it gives us this awful error. Windows cannot be installed to this disk. The selected disk is of GPT partition style. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to solve that. So we're gonna click OK. We're gonna X out of this. We're gonna quit the installation. And we're gonna quit out of here. Yes, the computer will restart. Now we're gonna to wanna to go back into the BIOS. So on this particular machine, it's F10. I'm, I'm uh, working off a keyboard here, a USB keyboard that I plugged into the laptop. So we're going to keep tapping F10. All right, so then we're in the BIOS. So exit saving changes. I uh, don't want to exit. We'll just hit escape. Okay, so we are going to go into boot options. Very limited BIOS on these HP 15s. So we're going to go to boot options. Okay, click enter. Uh, so we're going to navigate with the arrow keys. We're going to hit enter on your keyboard. Okay, so now we're going to go down to legacy support. So right there where it says legacy support, across from it, it says enabled. Uh, that's for um, older uh, uh, style operating systems and older style devices and things like that. So um, uh, since we want to install Windows uh, on a GPT hard drive, we're going to set that to disabled. So changing this setting may take the system, sorry, may make the system unable to boot to the OS. You want to make this change? Yes. Okay, so now we've got it set to legacy support, disabled. Okay. We're going to go over here to exit saving changes. Yes. All right. I'm going to hit F9, that's the boot menu. I want to start off the disk on the drive. Uh, let's see here, so there it is there, USB, USB, CD, DVD, ROM, UEFI. Okay, press any key, start off the CD. All right, so we've booted off the CD. We're back at the Windows menu. We're gonna hit next. We're gonna hit install now. All right, we're going to agree to the license agreement again. Click Next, Custom Install. Now we're going to go back and choose the exact same partition, Partition 3, uh, 734 gigs. We're going to hit, uh, and notice now on the bottom, it doesn't say that uh, you got to click here for details and you can't install it. It just gives the option um, to uh, click the partition. We're going to hit Next. And what do you know? If the partition you've chosen contains files from a previous Windows installation, these files and folders will be removed and a folder named win, um, moved to a folder named windows.old. You'll be able to access windows.old, but you won't be able to use your previous version of Windows. So that just means it's going to create a windows.old folder with all your old files in it. And then it's going to create a new Windows folder for the new installation. So we've overcome, uh, we've overcame that uh, GPT partition style error. We can click OK. Uh, do you want to proceed with the installation? 
let me see here. We're going to click OK. And we are now installing Windows again. So hopefully that helps you resolve that GPT partition style error.